The founder of a Kenyan orphanage caught in the middle of a child sexual assault trial is looking towards the future. Thanks for joining us. I'm Paul Folger. Jessica is off today. Last week, Matthew Durham was convicted of molesting children while volunteering at the Upendo Children's Home in Kenya last summer. Here's who's Mark Opgran talked with the founder, and he is live from Edmund Mark. Yeah, that's right, Paul. You know, it's a long way from here in Edmond to Kenya. You know, but after dealing with the accusations, the trial, and the conviction of Matthew Durham, the founders of Appendo says they are looking forward to a brighter future. Appendo Kids International sponsors 80 kids. Eunice Menja opened the Appendo Home for Orphan Children in Kenya in 2012. But it was at that home last summer, Edmond resident Matthew Durham was accused and now convicted of sexually abusing several children. To construct the house and make sure that everybody was under the same roof for better safety, mm -hmm. uh, we did install cameras. We have cameras everywhere in the compound, in the room. After Matthew's conviction, Eunice says the message they want the public to know is one of love, which is what Appendo means in Swahili. Appendo is not, you know, what they saw in the media or what they heard about, you know, um, whatever happened, happened, and we want to, you know, grow from there. We want to learn from there, and we want to make our, organiza our organization stronger. She says the mission is stronger than ever, and with the help of the Edmund community, Appendo will not only survive, but thrive. We are going to do whatever we can in our capacity to make sure that the children's home remains open. And Eunice says they actually are planning a mission trip back there to the uh, Appendo children's uh, home. Coming up in December. We're live in Edmond. Mark Opgren, KOCL 5 News. Mark.